a so-called Million MAGA March on Washington. USA! USA! It's been nearly two weeks since Election Day and one week since Joe Biden was declared president-elect. It's the honor of my lifetime. Late Thursday, the state of Arizona called for Biden, along with an apparent win in Georgia, which hasn't voted for a Democrat in almost 30 years. But despite the numbers, the president's message remains the same. This is a fraud on the American public. Filing nearly 20 lawsuits, despite no evidence of widespread duplicate ballots or votes cast past deadlines. They can try to steal the election from us. The president capitalizing on the doubt he sowed amongst his supporters, even before the election was called. All these ballots that are coming in at midnight from China. Will you have faith in those results? Not necessarily, no. So how secure was this election? And how trustworthy are the results? Our system has issues. We can improve on it. but. Fraud is not one of them. The fraud that would be needed to cast invalid illegal votes across several states by the hundreds of thousands is a James Bond style conspiracy that just isn't possible. In fact, a group of government agencies, including the Department of Homeland Security, announced late last week that this election was the most secure in American history. And still, many members of the president's own party haven't embraced the outcome. And President Trump, is 100% within his rights to look into allegations of ir irregularities. But one former Kentucky elections administrator, James Young, isn't staying silent. James, you are a registered Republican, correct? I am. In a thread that went viral on Twitter, Young explained that an attack on the election process is an attack on the people who uphold it. It's important to remember election administrators are not partisan actors. What effect do you think all of this has on the country when these questions of voter fraud are raised? It's certainly demoralizing for election administrators' integrity to be questioned. These are people who are hands-on, they are transparent, they take pride in being ethical and honest people. And Americans should have that same expectation. And it's important to put a face with these people, to put a name with these people. These are real people. Real people who deliver real and accurate results. And they do it under a lot of pressure this year. Morgan joins me now live. Morgan, great to see you. So the president and others seizing on mail-in ballots as a source of their unfounded claims about fraud. So do experts you talk to believe the pandemic has maybe even created a more permanent shift toward mail-in voting in the future? Absolutely, Willie. And frankly, those officials say that voters should trust the mail-in process. Just looking at this past year, more than half of states have made it easier to vote by mail. And that's why those officials also say that this past year gave them hope. It gave them confidence that voting by mail could make up a larger bulk of the voting process, one that could soon become more of the rule and less of the exception. Willie? Yeah, I think a lot of people kind of enjoyed that this year, staying out of a long line. And now we know it was a secure process as well. So interesting. Morgan, thanks so much. Great to see you.